Hey, good morning. About to go on my daily run. Gotta get something in my stomach and the sponsor of this video is Athletic Greens. Been traveling for a longer period of time this time, so just carry the whole canister with me. This is basically what I do every single morning before I work out. Get my travel bottle, scoop of this, eight to 12 ounces of water, pick it up and drink. Like I told you guys, I've been using this for several months now. I incorporate it into my morning routine. I feel better, I got more energy. The probiotics help my stomach a lot, which in my line of work, that's pretty important. And you know, I used to carry around over half a dozens of vitamins and minerals, all cluttering up my suitcase. It was such a mess and it's hard to keep track of which one I took, which one I didn't take. Some bottles will run out before the other. Now, one scoop or one travel pack of this gets me 75 vitamins and minerals, probiotics, whole food sourced superfoods. To me, it's just really convenient way to stay healthy. Also, AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third-party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. And when you get your box inside, you'll get a pack, you'll get travel packs, travel bottle, also a year supply of vitamin D. This is so important. I take this every single day as well, mainly because I hate the sun. And also, I'm telling you, Tastes pretty good. So if you want to give this drug to my link down below, you'll get a year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your water. This is really a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Like I mentioned before, I got this for my parents. Uh, my friends tried it, now they're ordering it too. Again, if you want to give it a try, link down below, five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D with your water. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Seoul, South Korea. Grocery stores in South Korea are something special. So much amazing food and snacks, and honestly, it's just kind of fun just to hang out in one. Last time I was here, I give you guys a tour of Yeemart. And today, let's go to the other giant grocery store, Lotte Mart. As soon as you walk in, the smell of food just slams into you. And right in front is a giant food court. There's dim sum, there's noodles, there's ramen. There's Korean hot dogs, desserts, pastries. And I definitely smell rib soup somewhere. There's a boyfriend lounge where you can get a massage. A little play area for the kids. This food court is ginormous. There's a steak place. There's traditional Korean food, Italian food. Of course, a Lotteria, a famous burger place. And a place for Shabu. Let's get a steak. There's a steak combo, top blade, prime steak combo, rib end, London boil. Okay, there's a lot of selections here. Garlic shrimp steak. This steak comes with garlic butter on top. They didn't ask me how well I wanted to cut, so I'm assuming, ooh, that's pretty tender. Yeah, it's a little on the rare side because this skillet is still going to cook the steak as you're eating it. So I'm going to put the garlic butter down here and then mash the rice so I get a little fried rice action going on. The garlic butter is really good. The steak is a little chewy. This is supposed to be the most tender, flavorful cut. Definitely very fatty, which is good, but very, very chewy. Garlic butter fried rice is amazing though. Dip this in a little bit of the sauce. That piece is better. Sauce is peppery, a little sweet. Definitely not the best steak. Yeah. Maybe I should've just stuck with the groceries. Also, this is really interesting. And I see this everywhere. Fountain machines in, in South Korea. You really just get two selections. Pepsi, Chelsum cider. I mean, I, I do love the Chelsum cider. 
but definitely not a lot of selection when it comes to drinks unless you go to a full-scale restaurant. The section is all pretty much pre-packaged stuff for stew, purujige, ramen, seafood, cold noodles, there's shabu. Well, this is a hefty, hefty package of buddha jige, all for about nine bucks. This can easily feed two people. How about the foods is sporting goods. I think the psychology here is buy a bunch of food, feel a little guilty, grab some workout stuff. Wow, that's a lot of spam. I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't mind this guy spamming you. These seem like pretty gourmet meals. What is this? Some ravioli? Marinated beef herbs? I think that's probably enough for today. All right, just got back. Let's cook. I got several fruits, some meats, the buru jege, the stew. I got this ramen. Let's do the ramen first. Mainly because because I, I got back and kind of forgot about it and just left it sitting outside. So this is Hakoya Katsu Noodle in Dunbury. Fresh noodles, spicy tonkatsu broth, meat leeks, and shiitake mushrooms. While waiting for that water to boil, check out some snacks. This is a truffle salt potato chip. This is so good. If you ever see this ram, make sure you grab a bag. For some reason, chips in South Korea, way crispier than chips in the US. Huge truffle flavor. These are amazing, amazing potato chips. Hmm. Water's ready. This looks and smells so good. So everything in the packaging was fresh. Raw noodles, fresh scallions, wood ear, diced meat, the broth, everything. Well, this is better than some ramen I've had at ramen shops. Extremely spicy, very meaty. See all the meat they put in here? Noodles, extremely chewy. Only problem I have is because my stove is really not that great. So the noodles were cooked way longer um, than it should have been. So if I just cooked the noodles and put in this broth right away, it would have been exponentially better. But even now, mm, it's spicy, meaty, good bite from the onions. So much flavor in every single slurp. This is 100% one of the best frozen rum I've ever had in my life. I mean, it is ridiculously good. Absolutely perfect. It doesn't need anything else. Um, but I'm gonna give it something else. This is, I'm gonna see what this is. This is the cube jar of something that I got. I think it might be cube spam. Yeah, I think it's cube spam and chili sauce. No, no, I think it's fish. Yeah, this is cube tuna in a sweet and spicy sauce. Guys, this is so good. This is like seriously some amazing frozen ramen. I, I was gonna add some chili oil to this. No need, the spice level, the meat level, everything. Perfection. All right, I'm gonna slurp this and we'll keep cooking. Next up, truffle ravioli. Ravioli, sauce. And while waiting for the water to boil on that one, check this out, intestine chips. It tastes a little bit like intestines. A little spicy, a little sweet. But if I don't know what it is, I'm just eating a potato chip. It just tastes more like a spicy barbecue potato chip. Good though. I've been eyeing these for a while. These are churro chips. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. This is a must try. These chips 
Oh my God. I can just sit here and eat this all day. The multiple layers create such a crispy texture. Inside there's chocolate. It really does taste like someone took chocolate churros and flattened them out into chips. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely mind blowing. Oh, that's like eating at a restaurant. Cheesy, creamy, truffle ravioli. The pasta's perfectly al dente. Mm. Beautiful, cheesy center, and a bombardment of truffle flavor. Cannot stop putting this in my mouth. That gourmet street where I got these kind of a fancier frozen items, that stuff is delicious. Next up, kimchi stew. And I was gonna cook the LA Garby. Next up, a little kimchi stew with some Garby. It's scary how good this stuff is. This tastes like I'm sitting at a restaurant right now and this just got brought to me. Spicy, they taste the fermented beans. The pork is so tender here. Tofu is delicious. Kimchi still retains a little crunch. Chase that with some garby. A little sweet, a little charred. Fatty and delicious. The sweet glaze kind of forms a little caramelized layer on top of the meat, making this even more scrumptious. I mean, in this country, if you don't want to go out to eat, you can either order delivery or just keep a bunch of this in the freezer. Tastes like you're at a restaurant. One final dish, the bodo jigge. I'm just cooking everything up. Um, finish the ramen, finish the ravioli. Definitely gonna finish the kimchi stew and the garby. This, gonna eat some tonight, then save the rest for tomorrow morning. Look at this thing, comes with everything you need. Spam, some sausage, beans, kimchi, rice cake, onions, scallions, little jigga sauce, ramen, and whatever this is. While we're waiting for that to cook, juice in the bag. Buy a cup of ice. Oh, that's good. Also, while that's cooking, what are waffles? I heard this is a must get at Lotte Mar. Crunchy, really, really, really buttery. Definitely would be better with some ice cream. Almost too buttery though. Oh my gosh. Water JK is ready. This is one of my all time favorite Korean dishes and it's something I always get every time I'm in South Korea. And I gotten a pack of uh, take home buttojige from uh, grocery stores before. It's just so good. The kimchi is crunchy. Ah, the broth is sour and spicy. Of course, a pack of instant ramen. I'll just soak up all that delicious broth. And they, of course, added all the necessary ingredients in here. There's Spam, there's sausage, some beans, scallions, onions, and rice cakes. This is my last cooked item that I got from the grocery store. I know like going to US supermarkets, the frozen goods aisles, it's not usually the prettiest, it's not usually the tastiest. I mean, every time you usually just put it in a microwave, it comes out a steamy hot mess of mysterious goo sometimes. But everything I cooked today from the Korean supermarket frozen good aisle could be served at a restaurant and you wouldn't know the difference. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's try out this magnificent mango. I think this was like 
maybe five dollars a mango. It was 100% worth it. Mm. I never get sick of going to South Korean supermarkets. There's just so many things to try. You could probably just live off different types of frozen or packaged food items from the supermarket for years and never get bored. So besides the first mistake I made this morning, everything else tasted amazing. So if you ever get a chance to go to a supermarket here, definitely give those food items a try, especially that ramen, absolutely mind blowing. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.